Hi, I'm Rachel with Carefree Crafting. We have another quilt. This one has cats on it. These cat blocks are 12 inches square and there are several different ways you can lay them out. You could lay them out where they're all facing left, they're all facing right, or they're facing each other. You could also add sashing if you needed this to be bigger. This quilt uses two yards of the blue fabric and two yards of the purple and then we have two two inch borders and you could put those in whatever order you liked. I backed this with the sheet, just a, a purple bed sheet, and then I did the binding as a wrap around. Let me show you how to make this block. It's a lot of fun. So we have our pattern. This is what you'll get off our website. I printed this in black and white. It, there is a color option. You'll have a diagram of what the block looks like. And then there's two templates. And I've already cut those out. There's also a cutting list and some instructions. The two templates look like this. Now the templates determine which way your cat faces. When this line going up points to the left, your cat faces to the left. When this line going up points to the right, your cat faces to the right. And that's the only thing that has to be reversed to uh, switch your cat's direction. There's piece A and piece B. C is way over here on the other side. And then there's F and piece E. Our kitty cat's ears are made by piece G and two of piece D. Those will go like that. So we'll start with the ears. We'll put these two squares face down on either end of piece G and then we'll sew a diagonal line across and snowball each one. And when we open it, we'll have something kind of like a flying goose, but there's a bigger gap in the middle and that will make our kitty's ears. So now it looks like this. And when we open it up, it looks like cat ears. One more thing we have to do is we have to trim this bulk back here. So we have this spot where we're going to open it up. We just need to trim this off. And this doesn't matter how much we leave, as long as we leave enough that it doesn't fray into the seam. So about a quarter inch. So there's that. Now we'll just sew these two together, just like this. So now we'll sew our cat's body together. We'll just put these together. And they look, these two pieces look a little funny. They look like they should never go together, but it's supposed to look like that. And if they're aligned correctly, you will actually have the points of the triangles sticking out about a quarter inch on either side. If they don't stick out, then this piece is going to be crooked when, after we sew it. See that? It lies straight. So now we'll just put these two pieces of the cat together and then we just need two more pieces of background. This block goes very fast. Now we'll just add piece C and one more thing we'll add piece A. And that's our completed cat block. On ten of these the cat will be purple and the background will be blue. On the other 10, the cat will be blue and the background will be purple or whatever two colors you've chosen. So when you get your cutting list, cut every piece out 10 times, cut piece A 10 times in both fabrics, cut piece C 10 times in both fabrics and so on.
This is a really easy block. I would recommend this quilt as a, a first quilt or for a beginning quilter or a quick project if you have a very, very late deadline. All right, I'm gonna make 19 more of these and then I'll see you when they're all put together. And now that you've seen the block, let's take one last look at the big quilt. Please like, share, and subscribe. We'll have the pattern in our store. Um, again, our store is carefreecrafting.com. Have a good day.